The special orbit mode system installed especially for the TE mission proved highly satisfactory at the OL. Stable flight attitudes were held throughout continuous orbits. Coordination procedures developed between air controllers in the DC-130 and ground controllers in the TPW-2 were adequate. Proposed system improvements will further enhance team effectiveness. Restrictions on the operational route, however, did not permit complete evaluation of the control system's maximum range capability, 300 nautical miles. Mid-air retrieval results were outstanding, according to evaluation reports. As a follow-on to this prototype program, Teledyne Ryan has suggested several design improvements for an operational combat dawn system, which shall be called the 147TF Increased Endurance Configuration. These improvements are required to affect a more reliable vehicle and to improve the special equipment capability to better meet the user's requirements. Objectives of the TF shall be to increase drone endurance and to increase park frequency coverage. The TF shall be compatible with existing support systems, including the TPW-2 and the improved park. Primary external difference between the TE and the TF is the addition of fuel pods on the wings. A series of flights at Point Magoo demonstrated that the TF wing, which carries 32 gallons more of fuel internally than the standard T wing, can also carry two 115-gallon pylon-mounted fuel pods. This added 262 gallons of fuel increases the effective endurance of the basic TE drone from a flight time of 4 hours, 51 minutes to in excess of 8 hours. In addition to increased endurance, other improvements have been proposed for the operational TF system. Incorporation of a mission control center is considered essential to the realization of the potential of other improvements to the combat dawn system. The MCC would relieve congestion in the TPW-2 by combining its remote command control functions in a new console located inside the heart fan and provide capability to incorporate the additional improvement features. The TF offers these new capabilities. Extended glide range. Complete backup of drone command functions through the uplink system. Radio commanded self-destruct of the encrypting device. Emergency command through the uplink to the autopilot in the event of engine rundown. Also, the emergency return to base heading will be made more accurate through the use of the downlink heading, which will itself be modified to slew automatically to the heart band. Greater protection against interception or jamming of the MCGS signal, and an increase in antenna gain from 5 dB to 18 dB will be achieved by diplexing the signal into the downlink horn antenna. In addition, an improved park collection system is provided that will monitor more and different frequencies through interchangeability of receiver modules. This will expand uplink control from four to 44 channels. Encryption of the uplink commands will provide more system security. Downlink data is already encrypted. Modifications to the TPW-2 ground control system will increase effective range and angle track from 250 to 400 nautical miles. Teledyne Ryan is looking further to the future with the model 147TL, a version that will utilize the increased lifting and fuel carrying capabilities of a 180 square foot wing. Use of this wing, which will permit addition of 2,500 pounds of fuel, will enable 12 hour flight endurance 11 hours above altitudes of 60,000 feet. Incorporating the improved heart collection system, frequency coverage will be increased along with area coverage. With the TL, it will be possible to launch the Combat Dawn drone at a point well beyond the horizon, as seen from the heart ground station. Launched at an altitude of 15,000 feet, 
The TL can fly to mission altitudes in excess of 75,000 feet. Such a mission profile will allow data collection from distant target areas more than 600 miles from the Hart ground complex. As frequency coverage requirements increase, additional payload volume can be obtained by stretching the TL fuselage a total of 53 inches. The nose will be extended 18 inches and the fuselage extended 35 inches for a volume increase of 10 cubic feet. Combat Dawn, an application of the unique high altitude flight capabilities of the Teledyne Ryan Model 147 pilotless aircraft. Combined with the advanced communication sensor capabilities of MELPAR and the computer control expertise of UNIVAC. Combat Dawn, the optimal, low risk, politically acceptable means of gathering vital intelligence from those nations that constitute a threat to the national security of the United States.